Hi, this is Jamie from Antelope Beads, and I want to talk to you today about how to use wire to keep your regalies and Euro leather components in place on your pieces. Here's an example of a flat leather bracelet where we've used our button slider, and I've used leather cording, one millimeter or 0.5 millimeter leather cord, to wrap around the wire and then I've kept all of that in place with this wire. I use about a 24 gauge or a 22 gauge wire to wrap around. Here's another example where I've let, used the wire to keep the flower in place on this two stranded five millimeter round leather and I've let these other spacers kind of move back and forth while the flower is stationary. So let's look at how to do a couple of those techniques. Here's a piece of Regalese leather with some Regalese hammered sliders and a piece of 24 gauge gold wire. So what I'm going to do is string on this big slider onto the Regalese piece, decide where I want it to be, and use my non-dominant hand to hold it in place. Now in this instance, because I might want to wrap things on either side of this, I'm going to start by taking the wire and stringing it through that hole. And I put it so it's about halfway through. You can see that there. Then I'm just going to take the wire and begin wrapping around the leather on the other side of the spacer. Now because this one's really big, I'm going to kind of overlap my wrapping and wrap it multiple times. Once I've wrapped around, I can take my end piece here, kind of fold it, and tuck it in where I know this spacer is going to slide over, like that. And then I can turn it over and repeat on the other side with just wrapping around. And again, I want to overlap. With the wire, you can make it look messy like this, or you can make kind of a cleaner look if you wrap it real smoothly and make sure each wrap line goes next to the other. And now I can just take and fold my end in and again just tuck it behind the bead here. You may need to use some chain nose pliers or other pliers to get that end completely tucked in. But that's one example of how you can use wire to keep beads in place. Here's another example that I've started where I'm trying to wrap a Kazuri bead onto the leather. What I did on this side, and this is the 10 millimeter flat leather, what I did on this side of the bead was just wrap it around several times and leaving myself a tail of wire to work with here. And then I'm just going to take and use my non-dominant hand to hold this bead in place on the leather and I'm going to fold up and then wrap my wire around there, like so. Now I can take and cut this wire short and just tuck in the ends, tuck it in behind under this wrap here. And then my plan for this piece is I can take and wrap a couple other smaller beads like these guys further down the leather, leaving a little gap in the leather. Then I'll just need to glue on a clasp and this will be a finished piece as again. well. This has just been a couple of ways to use wire to secure your beads and components onto your Regalese and Euro leather cuffs. Please visit our website, antelopebeads.com, for lots of other ideas and techniques. Thank you!